Oh, alrighty. Well, good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Um, well, time once again for my pseudo cast, and uh, I had just—I have just woken up from a nap. Uh, just gonna try this out, see how well it works. Uh, yesterday, yesterday I didn't do this, and I was. And if you ever saw, um, you ever saw the uh, title, uh, half asleep. Like as in my half asleep pseudo cast. Well, I was trying to avoid that this time around. So again, we'll see how well this works. And um, this video here. Here, let me. Okay, the mic works. So this video here. Let me adjust that real fast. Is gonna be cycling through the streets of Amsterdam. Um, well, I'm going with this one because I made the mistake of uh, of using an arcade tour video. But I also found it to be too distracting because I was too busy paying attention to all the video games and stuff, and less on my uh, less on uh, less on my cast. Excuse me. But, so all that. But yeah, like I like I said, I'm going with it. I'm going with this instead of an arcade tour. Uh, less distracting and uh, also I um I watched a uh, this is kind of inspired by um I watched another video from a YouTube channel called not just bikes and he was talking about um this really awesome commute that he did from uh, his from home to work where she would start by taking a bicycle she would ride a I, I thought I heard him say that he actually rented one he rented a bicycle, took that to the train station, got on the train, and then got off at his uh, got off at the next stop, and then I think he I think he rented another bicycle and took that bicycle to work. Now, I thought that was pretty neat. I kind of wish we had that here, I guess you know we don't have a uh, we don't have deadly squad for train deadly squad for train stations. Especially around where I live, and uh, if you do, all it is is just a, it's just a train that takes you from point A to point B. But that's it. I think the most they might have would be like a, like a rental car or something. But uh, even he was kind of complaining about, even he was kind of complaining about uh, what I be complaining about too. It's like to really get from point A to point B, your only option is to take a car. Is to drive a car there, and and uh, th this is pretty much true for what I have to go through here. I mean, even if I wanted to, even if I wanted to, to just go across the intersection, like across the, or in my case, across the highway, I'd have to literally get in my car. I'd have basically have to take what's called a scenic route. I'd have to. Yeah, I basically have to. I basically would have to drive. I'd have to drive a quarter of a mile just to get to a location that's like only an eighth of a mile away. So it's not an extra time and mileage wasted right there. So yeah, he's uh, but he lives here in Amsterdam. You know, he, he was. But yeah, he was he was stuck but he's uh, he was really big on this place because of this reason. It's so easy to get from point A to point B. Like uh like what you're seeing here. Riding a bicycle is actually legit. Tried doing that where I live is actually pretty dangerous because there are no real bike paths. You'd have to you'd have to basically you have to literally ride in the high. You have to ride on the highway, and hope to hell you don't get run over. Hmm. Oh, and uh, I'm having a can of V8 Energy, orange pineapple flavored. But yeah, I thought that was pretty cool though. Just. Being able to easily switch between modes of transportation to get from point A to point B. Yeah. 
But, uh, oh, and also, uh, last night, I, uh, Steam's having a, Steam was having a, I think it's a week-long sale on their games. So I went ahead and bought a game called Dragon Ball Fighter Z. It's a fighting game based on Dragon Ball Z. So I'm, I, it's surprisingly, I surprisingly liked it. Or aesthetically, at least. I mean, I figured, um, I figured it was going to be uh, cringe-worthy as hell, like, like uh, Street Fighter 4 and Skullgirls and Fantasy Strike, but no, I, I thought it was actually kind of cool. Um, with, um, what, the only big drawback to that game being, you can't, you, um, you can't play CPU versus CPU battles. Because I'm, I'm the kind of person that I also like to, as well as playing these games, I like to sit back and watch them as well. You know, I don't, there's times I just don't want to participate. But, um, you can't do that in this game. You have to play it. So, that's a bit of a turnoff. Um, and also, my, uh, my computer can't handle it. Or, it can handle the game, but it can't, um, it can't do that and stream at the same time. Same problem I had with Guilty Gear Strive. It's one of the reasons why I had to uninstall and get a refund on that game. Because, uh, my computer can't do both. But, to be fair, at least with this game here, it's, it's not as bad. Like, you could, um, you can see it, you can see it getting blurry when too much is going on at once, but do I think probably due to the artwork, it, it's not as obvious. It's um, the only time it's really bad is if you look on my webcam, it gets really it gets really blurry. But as for the game itself, it's not too terrible. But, uh, and, on, and also on the upside too is uh, this game here, it only costs eight dollars, and it's uh, it's only a it's only a three gigabyte game. Unlike Guilty Gear Strive, where I had to pay sixty bucks for it, and it takes up like ten gigabytes of hard drive space. So yeah, I uninstalled and got a refund on that game because that's just too expensive. Whereas uh, whereas with uh, DBZ. It's a lot cheaper, so. So I think, even if the game was unstreamable, or was completely unstreamable, I'd still probably hold on to the game because I mean, not that expensive. Well, yeah, look at this. Man, I sure wish they had this in my neck of the woods. But yeah, like, like I like I said, um. Riding a bike where I live is pretty dangerous. Cause there are no uh, there are no separate bike paths where I live. So you're basically having to ride you're you're basically having to ride your bike on the stroad. So you're gonna you're gonna face the possibility of getting run over by, by somebody. Oh and uh and also I um uh, but uh, kind of inspired by that game, I actually watched the uh, very, 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 very first episode of Dragon Ball Z, um, and I found out that uh, that it's not even a uh, Dragon Ball Z. It, it wasn't the it wasn't the very first Dragon Ball that came out. The the very, very first Dragon Ball that came out was Dragon Ball. Yeah, just there. I thought Dragon Ball Z was the very, very first cartoon series that came out, but no. Um, the very first that came out was was simply Dragon Ball. So yeah, um, I watched the uh, very first episode of it. So I'm like, hmm, so this is where it all began. And you know, and I think the uh, the modern day car, you know, the modern day cartoon probably ha I'll bet it has at least at least a hundred characters on here. But on the very first episode, just two. Um, I think his name's Goku and um. Uh, I forget the name of the other girl, but that's it. Just two characters. There's a, um, there's a few other characters on there, but they're they basically made cameo appearances. But yeah, just two characters, as opposed to the 100 plus that's the uh, in today's modern you know, today's modern cartoons.
But yeah, it was up. The cartoons rated PG, but there were a few rated R put there are, or excuse me. There were a few rated R spots in there though. Like uh the girl offering to do a strip tease for Goku. Yeah. Man, that's a clunky bicycle. Clunk 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 But yeah, um I guess there was something else I was wanting to say too, I can't remember what. But man, that's a kind of a clunky bike that that guy's riding. Clunk 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 clunk. I think you might want to tighten up the screws on that sucker. The only other reason I can think of is uh, is the uh, the path itself. I mean, kind of a kind of a cobblestone pattern, or yeah, it's not like a paved road or anything. That's something else I noticed. It looks like this is definitely one thing that uh. Amsterdam, Amsterdam has over the streets in this country. It looks like, looks like a, a good chunk of the roads here are all tile. Because I mean, in in this country here, or at least where I live, if um if part of a street breaks or if it's like a big old pothole, you basically have to come over and uh you have to fill it up. You have to fill the pothole with like more more tar. But uh, even then, it's basically a rinse and repeat. Because that oftentimes, that very same pothole that you have to fill, you have to refill over and over. It looks like here, well, it looks like it's a regular old, regular old asphalt street here. But, but you know, with the kind of tile roads that I've been seeing, all you have to do is simply take, take up the old tile and put new tile in. It'd be a whole lot easier to replace. Makes uh makes maintenance a lot easier. But yeah, and um but yeah that is um that is one of my favorite YouTube channels. Um but a lot of people would probably find it to be very boring. It's called not just bikes, but um I think the the guy on there, I think he's like an architect, designer or something, but I think that's his uh, career, but uh a lot of his uh, a lot of his videos are centered around stuff like this, like travel, like travel, city planning, that kind of thing. But yeah, I usually uh, I watch him fairly often. Yeah, man, look at that. And uh, plus something else, I, or I guess I can keep. But uh, something else I'm noticing too, there's a lot of. Uh, yeah, I get. There's a lot of bike racks. It looks like there's a. Even if even if there's no bike racks, there's a lot of uh, bike friendly areas too. So again, I mean, where I live, I mean that that kind of thing don't really exist where I live. You want to lock your bike up? You pretty you basically you have to find a light post or something to wrap your uh, bike chain around. I mean, they got this. They got this kind of thing around here. Yeah. Um. But okay. Since it's um, uh, it's 14 minutes in now, and um, I pretty much said all the things I want to say, and um, I still got um, I mean, I forgot to buy my junk last night, so I gotta I gotta make a walk across the street to the uh, grocery to the to the convenience store, excuse me, and get me a bite to eat from there. So I'll just go ahead and cut it off here. So it lo looks like um. Uh, Perfect timing, so now's about as good a time to stop as any. Uh, but 
Otherwise, hey, thanks for thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. So, but until then, though, thanks for uh, thanks again for dropping by, everybody. See you all next time. Take care.